Hey there, how's it going? This is Willemstad, the capital and main town of Curacao here. I just arrived earlier today. And I'm just walking around and checking things out. Just uh, kind of getting a feel for this uh, Caribbean island paradise here. I flew here from Aruba, which is nearby. I was there for a week and so it's great to get a contrast between two different islands in this part of the Caribbean Sea. So they are both part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Aruba and Curaçao, Bonaire, Saint Martin. And so they are semi-autonomous but still within the uh, Kingdom of the Netherlands, and so there is a major uh, Dutch influence. You can even see it in the construction. And you'll see the language around and Dutch people. I am staying at a hostel just a uh, few minutes walk away, and it is Dutch owned and the uh, two ladies that checked me in were both uh, from Holland. Actually, one was uh, born in Aruba, but she is, you know, her family is from the Netherlands. And the other one just moved here to Curaçao like a month ago or something like that and had lived the rest of her life in the Netherlands. And so there's a back and forth between these islands here and the Netherlands because of the uh, connection, obviously. And so Curaçao is still quite distinct from Aruba. I just want to make that clear. Some cool art here. Interesting, like, pillars. I wonder what the story is with this building here. It's been through some stuff. Some uh, different phases, obviously. I'm sure this is all recent compared to uh, whenever the building was built. I imagine it had its grand times. Maybe it was a restaurant. And so just in these buildings here, you can kind of get that feeling of the uh, Dutch construction. And so, uh, flying from Aruba to Curacao here, it was only like a hundred bucks. There are no uh, boats other than the cruise ships. You can't just catch a ferry between these islands, even though they're quite close to each other. But it was just like a 30 minute, 30 to 40 minute uh, plane ride. And in leaving Aruba, I went through customs and again, entering Curacao, I went through customs to enter. And so just to uh, make the point that they are quite separate and they also have a uh, separate uh, currency here. They also use the US dollar, but they also have their uh, local currency. Same as in Aruba, they, they you know take both. But uh, I believe that you can just use the US dollar throughout Curacao here. The uh, bus from the airport, it was only $1, so one US dollar for quite a long bus ride, like 13 kilometers. Hiya, oh, yeah. how's it going? Yeah, I'm good. Cool, cool. How are you? Pretty good. Ah. What's going on? Ah. Just chilling. You, you, you're yeah. from Curacao? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right work on. here uh, right now, so yeah. I see. <laughs> I just arrived today, so. Oh, awesome. I'm just walking around making a little video, just showing like first impressions of, uh, of the city and stuff. I like it. I just came from Aruba. Oh, yeah. Have you been to Aruba? I'm sure you've been. I've yeah, one time. Only one time, yeah, okay. Only one time, yeah. But you grew up here? Yeah. Okay. I've been living here almost for like 19, 20 years. I see. And did you live any other place or just your whole life here? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Just here. Yeah. yeah. But have you been to some other places, other islands or anything? I've been to Bonaire also. Okay, I'm going uh, there next. Yeah. Oh, you're going to Bonaire, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I went to the Netherlands also. Okay, yeah, uh, I've Columbia. been there. Yeah, oh, cool. Show, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a bit of traveling. Uh, yeah. Right on. <laughs> hey, enjoy your stay here. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, Take you it too. easy. Yeah. And so, uh, cool to talk with a the local there. As you can see, then they speak English, or at least 
Many do. I haven't got a, a good handle on exactly how common uh, English is spoken here. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that there is more of a uh, Spanish language influence here. So when I first arrived, then I was looking for breakfast. I was uh, checking out some different restaurants and I saw one that said breakfast in English on it. So I walked into the uh, restaurant. It was like kind of a fast food place. And since I know that English is commonly spoken on these islands, then I walked in and I asked in English, what do you have for breakfast? Or like, is breakfast still available? Because it was like 11 o'clock or something. And I guess she didn't speak English because she answered back and said, do you speak Spanish? Now I forget exactly if she said that in English or in Spanish, but I do speak some Spanish. And so I understood what she was saying. And I speak enough Spanish to uh, communicate basic stuff. And so then I asked her in Spanish, que tu tienes por desayuno? Which basically means, what do you have for breakfast? And I ended up getting breakfast somewhere else. But uh, just to uh, illustrate, also I've seen Spanish written more often and also uh, spoken because the uh, main language on these islands is Papiamentu. It is a Creole language that is really a uh, mix of different influences of Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, I think French, maybe even some like West African thrown in there or something, and probably some indigenous words before, you know, the colonists came over here. I might not be exactly right about that, but that's what I've kind of picked up. And so Papiamentu is the uh, name of the language. That is the primary language. Hello. But it seems that Spanish is more common here than over on Aruba, for example. But as I said, this is my first day here, so I'm just, you know, getting a taste of things so far. And so you can see the uh, Caribbean Sea out there. And I'm walking into the main uh, downtown area. I'm not sure if it's exactly downtown, but it's like the, the happening area with the pool bars and the nice restaurants. And I will walk over to the, uh, the water where there's a bridge going over that I walked over before. Hello. And so you can see things are getting a little more uh, interesting and characterful here with the cool shops. And there's a uh, market happening this evening. Right around here, I walked past it and I could see that they were like setting it up. I'll walk down here. Nice shaded spot here. Let's see if I can find that market. And even if they're still getting ready, then uh, just kind of show what's happening there. Just be you. Good idea. Not sure where that was now. And so these islands then, even though they are in the same uh, part of the Caribbean and all part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, they're also definitely quite uh, distinct as well. And
Now here's some vegetables and stuff, but this is not the uh, market I was thinking of. I think it was further down that way. So, so much for that. All right, uh, here's the main waterway over here. Hello. Willemstad, so that is the town here. And I walked over that bridge earlier. I had uh, breakfast here, so I was over there when I was asking the lady. I'll walk over there and just show that, that restaurant in that area over there. But I ended up uh, eating breakfast right uh, here. Had a great breakfast for about uh, $12.60 with eggs, two croissants, ham and cheese, and a huge pineapple juice. There we go. Now it's separating from that side. All right, this is the uh, place that I'd asked about the breakfast. Breakfast and lunch. Pica Pollo. Eat delicious. I'll just uh, walk a little bit further down the water here. So I'm not exactly sure if that is in US dollars or the uh, local currency. If it's US dollars, six bucks for a small shake. Hello. Price is U.S. dollar? Uh, it's Gilder. Oh, it's Gilder. Gilder. Okay. Dollar, dollar four. Oh, okay. Four. For, for small or big? Uh, for big. For big, I see. And small to the big. Great. Thank you. So there you go. It is $3.50 for the uh, small in U.S. dollars and four bucks. So that's a lot better deal. tours and then here's another colorful bus the uh, fiesta bus sightseeing and straight ahead there is the central bus station where I got dropped off after uh, taking the bus from the airport for just one dollar all right I am sweaty thirsty, tired, had to get up early for the uh, flight this morning. Going to uh, head back across the uh, bridge there and go find somewhere to take a seat, chillax, and get something cold to drink.
Uh, how do you say left? Yeah, the left one. Left one. Blonde, please. Blonde. Thanks. All right, it's happy hour. So you can get two, all right? Brilliant. All right. I'll take one at a time. Two at a time, boss. Okay. That's the only way we do it. No worries. Yeah. There you go, boss. Uh huh. Where are you from, man? Northern California. San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco area. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm from a small town north of there. Okay. Yeah. How about yourself? You familiar? Uh, you familiar with Stockton? Yes. Yeah. You been there? Lived there. Ah, oh, okay, cool. And I've got here a chicken dish with rice, salad, and plantain.